Hello my friends and welcome to another episode on my channel. So today's topic is about German slash versus Singapore. That might sound like a battle. If you would like to see a video about how is German life or what is important or whatsoever that is related to Germany, let me know. And uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed those small uh, kind of uh, views on those two countries. Of course, this is not a co comparison um, to uh, Singapore. <laughs> In Germany <laughs> and I think every country do has its benefits and every country do has um, his downgrades and you really gotta live in the country breathe in the country feel connected to a country and people do love Germany for some special reasons people do love Singapore for Singapore for uh, their special reasons and um, yeah I think that, that yeah that's that's it I am from Hamburg, Germany. That is in the north of Germany. So there are no dirndls, like everyone say, a dirndl. <laughs> and um, so when you are thinking about Germany, people do think about the typical dirndl. I will pop this up as a picture here, the dirndl. They think about the brezel and they think about the German sausage. They love the German sausage. That is the best. Um, they really do love it and they love of course the beer we are mainly known for the beer there is no other conversation if it's a, um, yeah it's the beer of course we are also known for our great art and we have great musicians we have great um, writers when you dig down in history we do have a history and we do have castles a, a lot of them a lot a lot of them to just try to describe, I'm from one of the most beautiful cities from uh, Germany and there, are, there was an article about Hamburg and Hamburg is the world to Germany, that's what people say and Hamburg has a long and beautiful culture and it's really worth to go there because Germany, Hamburg, receive a lot of tourists. It's a tourist hotspot. You have the harbor, you have the Reeperbahn, and um, there's a lot of things that you can discover in Hamburg in the north. One thing I really do love about Singapore, it's the safety. So Singapore, it's maybe the first number one safest country i always thought japan is the safest country but due to the criminal rates and statistics and yeah just due to the facts that are known singapore is on number one moving to singapore really do got me or give me a good feeling um going out of the streets uh, alone um, okay, despite of the fact I'm blonde now, sometimes I really think, okay, you're blonde in an, in an Asian country where maybe blonde is not so typical, but I really do feel safe, I really feel protected, I, people do look, uh, due to my hair, it's pretty long, and a lot of people do look, I understand that. In Germany, no one looks about this because every second girl or lady is blonde, so this is not the, not the case. Times have changed in Germany and where a lot of women and people feel that they are unsafe and they feel that they cannot go out anymore or they cannot jog or they cannot so there are of course some things about that what i do love about germany that is not so much here in singapore is that germany has we call it a grünen daumen it's a green thumb and they are very aware of the plastic so this is something i really do don't like about Singapore is when I go to the shopping I always bring my own plastic bags with me because it's no use to always have for each item a plastic bag because plastic bags survive thousand years in the ocean before they got destroyed they, at least they survive thousand years before they got destroyed by nature so um, Germany is very aware they have they um, try in, in some shopping places before I already went away they took the plastics out in um, famous uh, mark, mark places like penny or, or whatsoever they took the plastic bags out and they changed them for paper bags and this is something that Germany is very very aware of this 
I wrote in a book um, about vegan life that Berlin is number one in the most uh, vegan places uh, in Germany. So we do have a really big eye on vegetarian, on vegan. You have a lot of options. Uh, they are very flexible in changing that. So we really do look, or they really do look um, on, on those those things. I think that is very different. I Now after um, some time has passed, I am in Singapore settled. Um, I know already some places where I can go as a vegetarian, but it's much more easier in, in Hamburg, Germany, because you really can buy super cheap vegan stuff, vegan alternatives, and it's no problem. So, and we are coming already to the second point. The second point is shopping. Um, I, I started this conversation two days ago when I said um, to my friends, you know, I really didn't appreciate shopping in Germany and I'm not talking about clothes because I'm not that clothes um, girl. The, I'm talking about food. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> Who don't love food? Um, um, so buying coconut oil or when it comes to organic food or vegetarian food like you know from my other posts i am vegetarian so there is a big difference about that here so if i want to buy virgin coconut oil like go to mustafa's they have it for five dollars here but you really gotta know where to find those things or you will end up suffering in cold storage or in other places because organic, organic food is quite expensive. Also cheese, I made recently a post, a blog post um, on cheese. A mozzarella costs like $8 and in Germany it would be like 90 cents. Uh, I think tops is one euro or something. But on the other side, it's not because if you go to Germany, you, would, you, you don't have those hawker centers where you can really have a full dish for just freaking four dollars that would be like two euro um, so when you go to a hawker center you do have a full meal and you can also have a coffee and drinks and it costs you maybe maybe top six dollars when you have a drink add to this this is something that you wouldn't have um, in, in Germany so despite of the fact shopping is still quite cheaper in Germany um, because you can make a good full shopping of everything for in a shopping like a giant we call that Penny or Aldi um, or Lidl some European countries have Lidl <laughs> I know that yeah so this is a little bit less expensive of course alcohol cigarettes um, yeah let's not start about that I think it's incredible Singapore do have a big uh, big tax on that it, it's it's hard that brings us also to the other point that is the cost of living um, yes Singapore is pretty much known to be one of the most expensive countries in the world I think it was New York was on a uh, number one and uh, last year 2016 it was Singapore I mean there are different um, sources that tell different things I need to make a check up on that but yes I mean Germany come on um, I paid for my insurance as an artist or freelancer teacher because I worked um, uh, most seven eight years only as a teacher um, I paid for my insurance $88 because I was uh, having a low minimum wage so I was earning not so much, but in spite of the fact, um, the insurance I am paying now or would pay now, that would be like a small car in Germany. It's, it's amazing. It's um, The cost of living is much more expensive uh, than in Germany in total. Also, you really gotta take care of where you are in Germany, because if you are in Munich, you are willingly pay much more on some things than when you go to Berlin or when you go to not a popular big cities. So that's of course a difference, but apartment, accommodation um, or education, you will definitely pay less than you pay in Singapore and you will work less than you will work in Singapore, that is true. So, I found the rankings by BBC, Asia's top biggest global school rankings and they ranked all of the countries and that was the biggest ever global school ranking that have been published and uh, yeah, Singapore hits the table followed by Hong Kong and uh, with other countries very much down, Germany is not even really 
is not even known here. Um, so yeah, but, um, no, it's not. <laughs> it's uh, it's not. It's sad. Yeah, it's uh, it's sad. Where? Let me see the other rankings here. Mm. Germany is compared. I saw it now. Germany is compared on on number thirteen to Singapore, and United Kingdom is on number twenty. Okay, Japan is number four. Cool, interesting. Um, yeah, that was that what I found. I can link you that if you want for you to have a check. Also, it's very interesting. Um, but plus on Germany, there is a really really big. Uh, art community, they really want to provide necessary skills and when it comes to uh, all kinds of the beautiful arts and uh, Germany is known for uh, the theater art, the theater scene, the musical scene so um, Germany so Germany do really have a big uh, scene when it comes to musicians or DJs or uh, nightlife, um, everyday nightlife where people have open stages, poetry slams, open mics and uh, open theater so everything that has to do with those theater kinds you're really gonna see this every day every day you can go to the theater there will be some, some spectacle or so you have a lot a lot they even have a middle age theater and all kind of stuff so please give it a thumbs up if you like that video and if you want to see more videos about that and of course I would be happy if you subscribe and we can make it to the 500 subscribers by the end of the year that would be my my all-time Christmas gift that would be super cool Christmas gift so guys let's see you in another video